everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and what i've got going for today's video well i am revisiting these now then the only reason i had even considered this was because of what one of my viewers said on my first video that i had used artist soft watercolor and I have to say that my experience with using this, it wasn't good. I, I did not like these at all. However, go away helicopter. I'm filming here. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I was not impressed with these at all. Um, eh. The artist soft paints, these watercolors, uh, they are definitely not all that great. I mean, like, you can probably see it, but it's even more so when you feel it. It is very chalky, would be a word I would use to describe it. And I don't know about you, but when I'm working with watercolors, I don't want it to feel like chalk. Yeah, that about sums it up. So, um, I figured that I would try these out again, maybe again, like, you know, a whole brand new batch, maybe they've improved. I'm not counting on it. Oh my, that, that, this is not a paintbrush. This is a disgrace. Anyways, let's get to it. Alrighty, so carrying on, um, one of the things that was suggested was that basically maybe these paints would have been better if I didn't use really, really old watercolor paper that was from a defunct craft store that hasn't been in business for 13 plus years. So, I've got my Arteza sketchbook here. Well, okay, watercolor sketchbook, I should say. So hopefully these will perform better on that. Anyways, let's unbox this sucker. Now then, um, about that disgrace, um, <laughs> I might use it for the swatches just to humor all of you dear viewers, but... For the actual painting, no. I am gonna use my other paint brushes because I only feel like torturing myself so much. Unless of course you like this video and subscribe to the channel, then um, I might be willing to, to artistically torture myself a, a little bit more if you do that. Okay. Get rid of this thingy. Now then, on first glance, the color selection looks really good. Like I like I like the colors themselves. Although, um, what what is this? There's like flecks in there. What are flecks doing in my pink? Okay. Oh, oh boy. I'm sure this is the part you've been waiting for, but me. Uh Barf. Please tell me you are seeing what I am seeing right now. The, look at the way it's like all over the place. Ew. Alrighty, well no sense in dilly-daddling around. Let's just dive right in. Okay, yeah, I can immediately tell that this brush is gonna be a major problem. But I will use it for these swatches. Okay, the, the black was relatively okay, but this one, this gray here, I don't know, it's just kind of making me feel gray. I'm getting flashbacks. 
but I need to swatch out each and every one of these and give these paints a fair shake again <sighs> well if you wouldn't mind excuse me a minute while I finish up the rest of these okay so the swatches don't look half bad I can still see where there's bits of uh, pigment that's separating a little bit while they dry but overall I mean like I, I think I, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt however I do still need to do a quick blend test I'm gonna just try a little wet on wet action Okay, well, not the best blending. Not quite the worst. Okay, I'm gonna try wet on dry now. Okay, what color should I use? How about this pink here? This looks nice. I like, I like this color. A little bit separated and I want to like maybe if I use the term deckled it'll sound more posh and fancy rather than cheap all right oh this dark purple I think that's one that'll show up be a problem. Oh, and uh, as for this, <laughs> uh, goodbye. My first thoughts before tackling this piece, well, besides the obvious, was that there are a lot of bright, cheerful, and pastel colors in this set, and I really wanted a design to accommodate these wonderful colors. I think this is what, the fifth fox fairy that I've done on this channel? Foxes just lend themselves well to whimsy and bright colors, and I just enjoy drawing them. I can't help it. Now, I will admit that once I got to painting with these, they were not as bad as what I had with my previous experience, okay? There are several other brands that I'd recommend before Artist Loft, don't get me wrong, but I didn't find them unusable like I did the last time. Still on the chalky side, and I found them difficult to layer after a while, even on better paper. Which I honestly think that the difficulty in building up layers is just a mark of cheap watercolors. Now what I do like about these paints is that you can mix and blend relatively easy. Either in the palette or on the paper. While layering may be a bit of a chore, you can at least mix and blend colors. Just be prepared for it to dry into an almost powder-like consistency. One of these days, I think I'll need to pick up some Crazy Art and Crayola watercolors and just do a comparison of various cheap watercolors side by side just to lay it all out for you just so that you can really get an idea. I mean, when it comes to the less expensive watercolors that I've used, I actually really liked the Master's Touch watercolors, which is the Hobby Lobby store brand. 
And of course, Ohuhu watercolors are really nice. Recently, I was given a couple of tubes of Van Gogh watercolors, so I'm looking forward to trying those out and seeing how they compare to other less expensive and more student slash craft quality watercolors versus artist quality. But I guess if you're just looking to dabble around with watercolors, you could use the Artist Loft. But I'd recommend Master's Touch over Artist Loft if you're looking for cheap watercolors. Specifically, cheap watercolors you don't want to wait on shipping for. Like, if you're impatient like me. <laughs> Ohuhu watercolors, though, would probably be my first recommendation for someone looking to get into watercolors but don't want to take out a second mortgage in order to afford it? I think I gave these Artist Loft watercolors a 4 out of 10 rating before. I might bump it up to about a 4 and a half, but I can't go higher than that. These paints are still very, very chalky and just all around cheap. However, not completely useless. Have you ever used Artist Loft watercolors before? If so, let me know what you think. Alrighty, so upon revisiting these, are they as terrible as I remembered? Actually not. Are, are they, would I call these good? No, hardly. Like right now, I'm at that phase where I would still call these the worst watercolors I've ever used. However, as you can see here, they are still usable. However, they do still have a bit of that chalkiness. Like, like there is still like more filler than pigment. However, despite this, I did have fun. Like, I, I enjoyed them. 
The, the last time I used these, which it was an older set and on really, really uh, old paper, like, I wasn't even having fun using them. It was just, ugh, it was a nightmare. On, on the Arteza paper, they worked a lot better. So, for all I know, maybe paper made the difference. Maybe the formula for these paints have changed. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that for the approximate $6 I spent on this, and I'm including tax in that estimate, I, I don't feel like I threw money away, unlike last time. So, there's my two cents on these. Anyways, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. And with this being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!